This is Western Mass News on ABC 40. Now to a follow-up on a car hit-and-run crash in Chicopee over the weekend that caused severe damage to a house on Mary Street that you just saw in that video. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 4. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Cornevalli. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri spoke with neighbors who are now speaking out about reckless driving in the area. <laughs> This was the scene at Heather LeBlanc's home on Mary Street in Chicopee early Sunday morning when a car slammed into her porch and took off. But she tells us this isn't the first time residents at her home have experienced property damage. A tenant downstairs where he parks um, on the street, he's been hit twice. So I, I just feel like there's a bigger problem than the hit and run driver. I mean, we can't move a three story house. And now other neighbors are speaking out about reckless driving in the area. My truck was hit head on in front of my home. Mm -hmm. So I did lose my vehicle. I think it's just in general, drivers need to be more aware of their surroundings. I mean, with this neighborhood, there's not stop signs at the end of per se, um, Olia Street to Berger. After experiencing property damage firsthand, LeBlanc and her neighbors tell Western Mass News they are asking the city of Chicopee to do more to make their streets safe. I feel like the city should probably put a barrier up in front of the house because clearly this is an ongoing problem. I don't, I don't know how to solve it. I think the police could do much better on patrolling and I think that there could be an accountability with the city of Chicopee to place in more stop signs, maybe even a speed bump. I just think that it needs to be better. Reporting in Chicopee, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News. The public information officer for the Chicopee Police Department, Travis O'Dorn, tells Western Mass News the city doesn't get a large number of complaints about speeding or reckless driving in that neighborhood. Meanwhile, Sunday's crash remains under investigation.